Hello, everybody. I'm Congressman Mike Levin, and we're here for something very exciting. That's to announce the winners of the 2022 Congressional Art Competition. This is an annual event sponsored by the Congressional Institute in Washington, and it's my fourth year of showcasing the artists from our local high schools here in California's 49th District. I'm pleased to report that we had an amazing 127 submissions to this year's contest from seven different high schools. 15 of those different pieces will be featured right now. And one of them, the winner, will be shipped to Washington, D.C. to be hung in the U.S. Capitol for a year, alongside winners from other competitions like this one all throughout the country. The student art came from these high schools, Oceanside High School, Carlsbad High School, Rancho Buena Vista High School, La Costa Canyon High School, Santa Fe Christian School, El Camino High School, and Pacific Ridge School. Before I move on to the results, I want to take just a moment to thank all the teachers, all the students, and also all the families for their participation in this year's competition. We're so impressed by both the quality and quantity of the work. I invite you all to view the incredible art on our Facebook page. Just click on the Congressional Art Competition Gallery and enjoy the show. Now on to the announcements. I'm pleased to honor 15 different artists today, and we'll hear about them from Maria Mingalone, the Executive Director of the Oceanside Museum of Art and the Chair of our Judging Panel. Hello, Maria. Hello, Congressman. How are you? Doing fantastic. How about you? Doing great. Excellent. Take it away. Absolutely. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the judging process. Um, we had I had two other um, judges working with me. One is Zach Cordner. He's a photographer and he's the co-founder of the Osider magazine, as well as um, Marcelo or To the Brain, who is an amazing cinematographer and is also an Oceanside native. We had a great time um, with a lot of lively discussion about all of the 127 Seven artworks that we had and came up with this list of 15, including three prize winners. Fantastic. Let's get started, Maria. The judges selected 12 pieces worthy of honorable mention, so I'll begin with those. The first honorable mention goes to Violet Britton of Carlsbad High School for Right Where You Are. Um, this is an oil painting. It's really amazing. Just look at how skillfully Violet handled the paint, the color, and the dramatic lighting. The quality is definitely here in this artwork. The second honorable mention goes to Cormac Smedley of Oceanside High School for Green Dragon. It's a really stunning image. It's a photograph. And if you look at it, the focal point is right on the snake's eye. It's pretty crazy in terms of the amount of detail that you see. And Zach and Marcelo, both of whom are photographers, were really blown away at how well he executed this uh, photograph is. The third honorable mention goes to Eden Stambaugh of Santa Fe Christian School for Pay at the Pump. <laughs> you know, this is a piece that you really want to see in person to get a sense of the detail, which is kind of hard to determine in the digital image. What we really liked was the humor and the timeliness of this subject. Dinosaurs pumping oil. Come on, what are we all thinking about these days? This student hit it right on the mark. The fourth honorable mention goes to Alexander Duong of El Camino High School for Forgotten Focus. You know, when you look at this photograph, it's really a reminder to us to really think about the beauty that's right in front of us. Alexander expresses this visually so beautifully, but he also talks about that in the comments of the section for their submission as well. So point well taken, look around and take in the beauty. Absolutely. The fifth honorable mention goes to Paisley Kinnon of Rancho Buena Vista High School for the Queen. This photo portrait really is, it looks like it's a nod to the old masters. Look at the way that there's that darkened dramatic background and the draped cloth and the subject's pose. There's a feeling of royalty that this young artist deliberately set up to capture and did it so well. The sixth honorable mention goes to Paloma Pernice of Carlsbad High School for Mr. Rivera's Colorful Relooking. 
and colorful it is. The color in this portrait is outstanding. It's beautiful. The newspaper clippings that you see at the top of the head is a really nice use of, use of collage, which literally is representing our thoughts in this piece. The seventh honorable mention goes to Catherine Stickney of Pacific Ridge School for Into the Void. There's great use of the negative space, so that black space that's between the figures. And then if you notice, there's a pulling on the t-shirt that adds this tension, and it gives you this sense of feeling that there's motion, that the figures are actually spinning in space. The eighth honorable mention goes to Victoria Allison of La Costa Canyon High School for Last Dance. We love this piece. It really, um, it's such a feel good piece and it puts a smile on your face. There's so much creativity that Victoria used in terms of the actual materials in making her artwork. The shirt of this, the skirt of this showgirl is made of real feathers that actually spill over the edge of the painting and the sparkling gems on the bodice just really throw it over the top. We loved it. The ninth honorable mention goes to Stephanie Hernandez of Carlsbad High School for Seamless. So we spent a lot of time looking at this surrealist drawing. It was a contender for one of the prizes. Um, it has this crazy perspective and all of the objects and the body parts are all over it. Yet it totally makes sense. I'm not sure how she did it, but she did. And, um, and we were really impressed. The 10th honorable mention goes to Jada McCullough of Pacific Ridge School for Liberty for All. Liberty for All really feels like a street art piece. You could imagine this painting being on the side of a building um, larger than life size. We love the background, um, the use of the repeated flag image, and check out the swirls around the body. It makes it so dynamic as if that figure is literally bursting through the background. And if you look really closely at her shirt, you can see the Statue of Liberty. The 11th honorable mention goes to Charlie Kolb of Oceanside High School for Sly Fi. <laughs> Sly Fi, you can't help but laugh. There is a banana man in the galaxy as if he's being carried along with the planets through our solar system. It makes no sense. It's super funny, and we loved it. The final honorable mention goes to Brianna Crystal of Pacific Ridge School for When Mother Was There. This is really a 21st century update on the classical portrait. It's digitally, it's digitally manipulated and the lighting is moody and dramatic. If you take a look at that rose crown across the top, it's really beautifully rendered. Overall, it's a very striking image of the artist's mother when the mother was the age of the artist, which we thought was charming. Congratulations to all the honorable mentions. Now it's time for the main event. That's our top three. And we'll start with a third place winner with a cash prize of $100. It's Joaquin Lagunas from Oceanside High School for One Way Out. Congratulations. Um, it was really hard to figure out first, second and third prize. But here we go. You could imagine seeing this in a fine art gallery or even in a museum. In fact, we invite all of um, the families and friends of these artists to come and see this work at the museum live. Um, it'll be up from the 23rd of April through the 22nd of May. Um, it's a really strong image. It's viewed even just if you viewed it from the abstract elements, if you look at those geometric shapes, the dark, the light, the geometry of the tiles and the staircase. What it actually is, it's an image looking up through a stairwell out of a skylight at the Oceanside City Hall. Can you see that? It's framing and composition are really perfect. You really have to look to figure out what's going on. I can see that you're doing that though, Congressman. <laughs> We're bombarded by images and something that makes you pause and really take time to look really meant a lot, both to me, to Zach and to Marcelo. So that's why this one was a prize winner for us. Fantastic. All right, I feel like I need a drum roll here. 
In second place, <laughs> with a cash prize of $300, is Angelina Chiampi of La Costa Canyon High School for her first light. There's so much that's going on here. You could stare at this for a long time and just keep seeing new things. There is that beautiful, colorful background. We really love the color palette that she used. It gives this piece a kind of hip street art feel. And maybe it's even a nod to some of the well-known street artists from our own region. If you look at the black contour lines that are on the left side, you'll start to see that there are features of a face and that as it comes into focus, you'll see what an amazing skill that it takes to use line to create that three-dimensional effect. Overall, it definitely keeps the eyes occupied. All right, here we go. The winner of the 2022 Congressional Art Competition for our district with a cash prize of $500 and also an invitation to display this piece of work in the United States Capitol, which means I'm going to walk by this every single day that I'm in D.C. for the next year. And I'm excited about this. The winner is Clementine Thompson of La Costa Canyon High School for California Cars. What an amazing opportunity for one of our artists here from Southern California to show their work in the Capitol. And what a great opportunity for you to see it every day while you're at work. It's a charming painting that's really a look back into the 1950s in Southern California. It's full of so much nostalgia. This is a welcoming landscape that really invites you to take the quintessential Southern California journey down the coast. Everybody likes to cruise and cruising is a reality here in Southern California. It's a big part of our culture. This landscape is faithfully rendered and pretty much anyone familiar with the region would recognize this bit of coastline. We thought it would be the perfect artwork to represent our region in Washington, DC. Well, I think that's absolutely right. And I was just about to say that uh, I will be pointing it out to all my colleagues uh, as we walk through the hall, sharing that our district is probably the most beautiful of any in the entire United States. Uh, so very, very excited uh, by this piece of work. I, I want to thank you so much, Maria. I want to thank our fellow judges. We so appreciate the time and the effort that you put into viewing this collection, into judging. Uh, and I also want to thank Rick Stein, our good friend Rick from Arts Orange County, for providing the cash prizes to support these young artists. Maria, any closing thoughts? Absolutely. I mean, given um, what we've all been through the last few years, it's really wonderful to be celebrating artists and artistry and the creativity of young people in our region. And I want to thank you for really taking the time to celebrate their achievements. It means a lot both to them, to their families, and to all of us here. So thank you so much for doing that. Well, I all, yeah. Go right ahead. And I also want to invite everybody to come and see the work. It'll be on view. What an, a wonderful opportunity for these students to have their work in a museum. It'll be on view at the Oceanside Museum of Art through Sunday, May 22nd. And we welcome everybody to come and celebrate their work. Well, I look forward to meeting many of the artists. I also want to take the opportunity to thank uh, my team, uh, both in the district office and in the DC office for doing such a great job again this year running this uh, whole competition with your help, obviously, and with the judges' help. Uh, and thank you so much uh, for uh, the parents, for the students, for the teachers, all the support for the arts uh, for our community. One more thing, we are tallying the results for something that we call the fan favorite. And I hope that everybody has an opportunity uh, to, uh, to vote on that and check the page later for the result. Uh, that artwork will also be included in the museum show. So until next year in the 2023 competition, this is Mike Levin. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Take care.